In the previous battery conversion episode, Rob unpacked and checked the new lithium live PO4 cells. He connected everything and fitted it into the battery box. And last, he did a test with an electrical heater and that went great. So now it's time to prepare the boat for installation. Hello everyone, this is Rob, I am Jauke and this is our cat Tiger. While we still have our day jobs, we sail as often as possible in our 9 meter Colibri series. Sailing the Dutch waters, we visit lots of interesting places and tell you all there is to know. It may not be a tropical climate, but it is still very pretty. So please sail with us and explore the Netherlands. Hello everyone, um, as you can see I am not on board Sirius, but I am at home because it's winter and it's uh, cold outside and um, Sirius is very cold inside, so yeah, not really comfortable. But today I will explain to you how I um, installed the lithium battery on board Sirius and how I changed the electric installation to, uh, well, to be able to charge and use the lithium battery on, um, by means of the uh, engine alternator and the uh, short charger that we already have on board series. So let's go to the whiteboard and I will show you how it's done. Okay, so back in the early days, um, well not, not that early, but back in the early days you had uh, an engine that had an alternator. And there was some kind of uh, battery, let's call it lead acid battery. And that worked fine for a long period of time because well, we didn't have navigation or um, coffee makers or whatever electric um, installation. So basically you had the positive wire and the negative wire coming from the alternator back into the lead acid battery which was also used to start the engine of course okay later on when um, we needed to be um, more independent there was some kind of um, charger which runs on uh, shore power the charger was usually connected to some kind of uh, wall station and it was also connected of course to the small installation, electric installation that we have on board. So that's negative and red for positive and that was it. So there was now a way to charge your, uh, your battery without the engine running for winter storage or long periods of time when you were uh, not on board. But uh, vessels became more lux luxurious, so um, there was a need for a second service battery, which was usually some kind of AGM or deep cycle lead acid battery. And that was used to power, um, lights on board, sometimes even navigation, and uh, maybe VHF, television, whatever. This battery was just connected to the, um, the rest of the installation, and sometimes there was some kind of a um, relay or switch or whatever between the engine battery and the service battery, but um, well, this was basically the very simple electric schematic of those days. Currently, we um, have the lithium battery available for a well reasonable price. So we switch to the lithium battery instead of the um, not very good lead acid uh, deep cycle batteries.
The only thing is that um, the internal resistance of the lithium battery is quite different than the ones that is called lead acid battery. So if you connect it directly to the rest of the installation, you will probably burn out your uh, charger or your uh, uh, alternator. And so that needs to be changed or adjusted or it just doesn't work. So when you do this, you will pro probably run into problems. Okay. So there uh, are several ways to uh, deal with this problem. You can change your charger, you can change your um, alternator, or what you could do is um, use some kind of a uh, DC to DC uh, charger which you can position here it is connected to the uh, common negative the positive that comes from the lead acid battery which is powered by the engine alternator or the charger goes into the DC DC charger and the output of the DC DC charger goes into the lithium battery. And this positive and this negative wire go to what you could call the well board net of the boat. So this is in simple terms what I created in a series. So there's the engine, there's the Short charger, which by the way is not uh, for lithium batteries, it's just for lead acid batteries. So it will just uh, charge the lead acid battery here. From there, it will power the DC DC charger. And from the DC DC charger, I will charge the lithium battery and I will power the rest of the boat. Filling the water tank. Just a little bit in the way, maybe. So the smallest size here is seventeen centimeters. We can take out this board and build the battery, build it in there, and then put back this board and just close it up here. Uh, I'm going to make a hole here to uh, drop this box in there and I hope it also will fit the uh, engine battery. Um, there's uh, two reasons for that. Um, the first one, well, we need a new battery and most of the weight on this boat is on the left side, on the port side. And uh, now we're moving some weight to the right side of the boat. Also, it will be above the uh, water line, so if we ever, well, get some water into the boat, the batteries will not be flooded, so um, the pumps will uh, work as long as possible.
maybe the engine battery will fit there as well, which is right here. It's a small version. I hope it's capable of starting the engine. If not, we'll just no, use another one. Will it fit there as well? It might. Well, you can almost fit in there yourself, so. Also, a compartment over here where we can fit it, but it's further away from the engine, which is less preferable. But it does fit. I can hold it on the side. I mean, it's it's a gel battery, so it should be fine. Yeah, that fits pretty pretty good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. I mean, I can just. Drill some very small holes here for uh, for straps to hold it. I think we uh, need to go with uh, this place over here. So now I can order all the, uh, the big wires, like 35 millimeters uh, square and 50 maybe, to go through the uh, to the engine bay and to the bus bar of the rest of the boat, which is non-existing at the moment, but I ordered it to make it all better. Yeah. a little bit of work to do still to run all the wires, but let's not bore you with that. In the next episode Rob will show you how he puts the lithium battery together and in place, and he is going to test and explain how it all performs. Thanks for watching everyone! Please leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. You can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss it when a new episode is out. Bye!